Hey, what's up, guys? My name is the Argo Two, and today I got a little something unusual for you guys. Sorry if it looks really strange, but this was a story that was given to me a long time ago, and I never got a chance. I never found the time actually to read it. I said I was going to read it for YouTube to see what response I'd get, but this story was written by one of my friends, and I said that I would uh, record it, me reading it, because I have a very uh, cool voice for reading. So, I got my, uh, got my nice bassy voice going on, because I'm still sick. So, I got a story for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> K.I. Star Star. It's not working. Oh, wait. Okay, sorry. K.I. Star Star. Bud walked next to Kaylee in the dimly lit hallway. They were alone, which was perfect. Bud was short with spiky red hair. Kaylee was tall with curly, with long curly blonde hair. She felt something in her chest she never felt. She w w in her chest when she was with him. She never felt with anyone else before. Sorry, it's been a long time since I read this. Every time she saw him, she got butterflies, and butterflies and buzzes of excitement. They walked down the hallway soundlessly, soaking in each other's presence. Kaylee became familiar, familiar with the way he walked, carelessly with his arms comfortably by his, at his side. The lack of sound between them was torturous. It was only a matter of time before someone broke the vast silence. At a convention, Bud began turning to look at Kaylee. Remember our hug? She smiled. How could she forget? He leaned against the wall and grinned. You mean the one where you got a mouthful of my hair? She asked, leaning over next to him, resting her shoulder on the wall. Yeah, it smelled nice. He laughed. Bud poked her side and she giggled, shoving him away. He smiled again. You have a dimple. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Kaylee teased. He gave her a smug smile. Hesitantly, he reached up and pushed her hair, pushed back her hair, sending goosebumps down her arms. She was thankful for the darkness, so he couldn't see. He was lightly touching her neck, sending a new feeling running through her. Kaylee moved closer to him. Their eyes locked, and Kaylee started to blush. It's about time, Bud whispered. He knew what was coming. She smiled and slightly bent down. So her nose was touching his. I've wanted to do this for a long time, Kaylee admitted. Her heart started pounding in her chest. She had never K.I. starred starred anyone before. And was about and was doing her best to remain calm. Bud was about too close when she stabbed him in the side with a pocket knife, spewing red hot sticky blood all over the floor and on her shirt. Kaylee unhooked the weapon unhooked her weapon. As she fell, as he fell limply to the floor, it, it was all she ever wanted. Her first, K I star star, uh, her first, not fist, K I star star to be. She leaned down to him and touched his pale cheek. It's okay, bud. It's all okay now. She laughed and walked away. And I added, still a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> Uh, that's all the story. So if you guys liked that, uh, if you guys like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Dibbing Gods. Uh, I will not tell you guys who wrote the story. Uh, if you guys want more of this, make sure to tell me, and I will be sure to get more. Uh, also, right now, no sound effects, but probably I will add some sound effects in the editing. You probably already know this, but just a redundant message. I will add it. Right now, I had no sound effects. I only had my nice, amazing voice to talk. Okay, so, yep, if you guys like that, click the like button, subscribe, whatever, usual stuff. As always, have a nice day. See you guys.